Hello everyone, this is Tokrev. First of all, before this video starts, I'd like to start with a very quick update. First of all, I have seen that a lot of subscribers have spammed my comments chat, comments chat and that is something I don't really like. So, I'd like to make a new kind of conversation possible between us. So, I'm going to create a group as we can see here. I'm going to call it the Tokrev 10 chat group on World of Tanks. And I'm going to put in a password. The password will be Tokrev10. So only if you have seen this video you'll be able to join in the, the group chat. So that's the first thing. Everyone on my channel is allowed to come into this chat. So here we go. The Tokrev10 chat group. That's all. That's the first thing I wanted to talk about. Next. I will be leaving to France tomorrow at least. Uh, from out the day that this video is uploaded, I will be leaving on Saturday. I'll go to France myself. And uh, I probably won't be able to play any World of Tanks uh, for an whole week. Because I will be gone for a whole week. Um, what I also don't have time for is probably to make a video. So if the subscriber special uh, amount yeah, of subscribers we would reach that. Then I will not be able to release the subscriber special videos. And because I'll be leaving tomorrow, I'd like to celebrate it with... Yeah, I like to celebrate, but that's a weird way of pointing it out. But I'd like to live stream tonight. So if you have time to come around, this will be the last stream for a very long time, I think. So if you have time, please tune in. But anyway, that's been everything I wanted to talk about. Enjoy the video. Greetings guys, this is Stokecraft, and today we're looking at a replay in the AMX M445, the tier 7 French heavy tank. And when I told one of my subscribers on World of Tanks that I had bought this tank, immediately his reaction was, oh no, the M4. Quick shout out to you, buddy. But anyways, why is this tank such a hated tank? It is probably the worst tank tier for tier in... Uh, tier 7 as a heavy tank. Why? It has got no armor first of all. It has got no armor whatsoever. 100 millimeters is the most you'll get but in tier 7 that won't make any difference. So what's next? As you can see the mobility isn't that good either. Yeah we're driving downhill so the mobility looks significantly better than it really is but the mobility is not great I can tell you that. And also the gun doesn't have very good characteristics, the aim time is long, the accuracy is bad, the reload is also quite long, and the gun depression is good to be honest, but only over the front of the tank. You can see me do this, you can see me uh, play in the platoon with yogurt and I am just telling him about this tank as you can see I'm seeing, you see me play with my gun depression here and I'm telling only the over the front of the tank this tank is 10 degrees. And over the back and over the sides, it's it's almost no gun depression as you can see right here. And now we're just faffing around and I'm thinking, yes, good tank, I can shoot. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just turning around a little bit here. But as you can see, I've still got the stock engine and it's not doing me really good here climbing up this hill. So anyway, this is probably the worst tank tier for tier in tier 7. And we are in the, probably the worst matchup we could ever have gotten here. And this was only my third game in the AMX M4. My third one, guys. Okay? Keep that in mind. My third game. So, I'm thinking, okay, this game is never going to go well. That's, that's These were my expectations. And the only thing that I uh, thought to myself what I could do to try and have a good game is try to use my gun depression. So that's exactly what I do here. This is an exact, yeah, a very good position to try and use my... 10 degrees of gun depression. Side of a VK, I will gladly take that. A shot in a tier 9 tank is never something bad. Also, this Centurion screwed up now. He's tracked around the corner with this really weak hull showing. So I put a shot right through his tracks there to keep him tracked. And that's exactly what happens. And then a WZ comes around the corner sideways. But oh well, it doesn't really matter though. And he shoots me with the heat shell. Yeah, I'm never going to bounce uh, any of his shells. Not even if they were not heat shells. But oh well, if he wants to spend a premium round on me, that's fine. 
because I wouldn't be able to have bounced it. He comes around the corner, he over angles and I put a shot in. That's an easy penetration for me. He stays there and I decide, okay, let's push my luck here. Let's try to do it again. He misses. I do not penetrate because I hit his spaced armor bar on top of the tank. Doesn't really matter though because the WZ isn't interested in peeking out again. So down there we've got this E75 and uh, take a look at the Super Pershing next to me, guys. What is he going to do? Oh no, is he really going? No, is he really going to rush an E75? Really? So WZ peek out, peeks out again. I put a shot right through his front track wheel, tracking him and doing damage at the same time. And he gets taken out by the artillery. So there's a Borsig there. He aimed at me, he missed. Low A, side of the tank, I'll put a shot in. He pounces on me, no idea how. He must have hit my gun man, and it's probably the only place where he could ever bounce on his tank. And a super other enemy super pershing drives down and thinking, okay, my super pershing will be never able to take down this guy. So I think, okay, let's go and help him out here. AMX M4, I was just laughing my ass off here. Why? Because I was actually doing well in a tier 9 game. This tank is just such a pain in the ass to play sometimes. And I was just laughing my ass off because I was having a fantastic game here. I can just shoot the Super Pershing over and over. So I think I don't want to spend a shot and I ran the Super Pershing to death. Man, this was fun when this happened. I laughed my ass off. I laughed my ass off, guys. I really did. So now there's this low A and still a Borsig around the corner, the VK. Is probably going to die to the Forge, as we can see on the left there on the map. He's probably going to die to the Forge because he's only on 9 hit points. So the low A and the Borsig take out the 5120. And um, next of all, I tried to find a shot on the VK, but it doesn't happen. So I think now I made a mistake here. What mistake did I make? I pressed my 2 key because I wasn't realizing that I'm going to shoot premium rounds for now and I have no idea how this shot missed guys no idea whatsoever the tank filled my entire aim circle and it just missed that oh, well doesn't matter put a shot in and this is this got to be a mistake I didn't even know that this was uh, premium, uh, ammo okay next thing I have to point out <laughs> look at me I'm just laughing my ass off here why because as you can see uh, look at the hitlock bar here, down here. The only shots that have penetrated my tank this entire game have been premium ammunition. You're shooting at a tank that has got at the most 100mm of armor and you shoot it with premium ammunition. That has got to be one of the funniest things I've ever seen. So, again, not realizing that I've still got premium ammunition loaded because there was just no need for me to have premium loaded. That's the nice thing about this tank, man. Pre <laughs> Snapshot on the artillery, no problem. Anyway, that's the special thing about this tank. This tank actually gets really good penetration. So there are a few things that are good about this tank. It's, it's not entirely shit. But the thing is, you have to play very cautiously in this tank. And that's exactly what I did during this game. So... I will just tell you guys, I will not be able to get any of these shots on the last artillery. This is going to be my damage done in this game. But I don't think my game could have been very much better in this tier 9 game. And I think my artillery is going to take out the M5355. No, it was the Egg Panther 2. But it doesn't really matter though. This was my third game in the AMX M4. Let's check out the post game statistics guys. Yes indeed guys, this was an ace tanker badge in the AMX M4. I couldn't believe it myself, but here it is. Also I was quite surprised at the amount of base experience I got in this game. I knew that getting the ace tanker in this tank probably would have been very easy. But this amount of base experience isn't that bad at all. And also quite addition to my game was the kamikaze medal. Ramming that super pershing to death. Poor fella. He got rammed by probably one of the baddest tanks tier for tier in the game, which I find pretty funny. And if you needed any more proof this was only my third game in the AMX M4, here's a screenshot that should seal the deal. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. This is my last video before, as I said, I'm leaving to France. But before that, I will be live streaming tonight, and I hope to see as many of you there as possible. And if not, then I hope you liked watching this video. Please leave a like as I did put a lot of time in making this video. And subscribe if you haven't already. 
Guys, I have to say that I absolutely love the support of you guys on my channel. So keep that coming. There will be a lot more awesome content coming in the future. I promise. But that's it for this time, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.